Hey, what's up guys? James Graham here again, one of the owners of Double J's Bowling Supply. Uh, here for another vlog topic and what we're going to talk about today are shoes. Now there's many shoes in the bowling industry. There's even street shoes you can buy and wear that are non-bowling. But basically what we want to talk to you about today is what kind of shoes are out there. Now we carry various shoes for different performances, but basically the bowling shoe is all in a sense this is what they look like. So this is the bottom of the shoe. Most of your shoes that are in the uh, cheaper price point will have uh, slide soles for both uh, right and left foot. So this is felt here. This is really, um, really fine material. Um, this is what helps you slide. And right here for the heel, this is kind of the breaking area right here. So most people will slide and they kind of have a little bit of break uh, in their slide when they're going through. Uh, these are all different variations of shoes. Some of them are very breathable. Um, this is a shoe made from KR Strike Force that has mesh. So it's very breathable breathable materials for some people who sweat in their foot. Uh, I'm one of them. Uh, and this is a men's shoe. So you could kind of uh, have a little bit more breathability in your shoe when you're wearing it throughout the night. So just a different kind of shoe. Uh, we have some that look like street shoes. Here's another one from uh, from KR Strike Force. They just kind of look casual. And that's kind of what shoes are going towards nowadays is kind of casual uh, Dexter makes a pretty good shoe these are really lightweight so another thing that the companies are starting to do when they manufacture shoes is making them lighter weight and I can promise you this is one of the lightest weight shoes we have in stock both men's and women's this is called a Ricky 4 and this is the color scheme this is the bottom what the bottom looks like same kind of thing here except here they kind of aerodynamically put this little groove here so it slides, there's two slide pads basically, and then here's your braking system down here. Uh, when you get into the higher price shoes, this is kind of where they look a little bit more stylish. This is like a canvas kind of color shoe from Dexter. Um, same kind of integral bottom as, as all the other ones are going to have, but this is more stylish. Um, as you can see, more canvas looking. Uh, here Dexter came out with a slide, um, a slide, a shoe that has no... Um, no lacing system so basically this is a slip-on shoe and uh, this has been one of our more popular sellers uh, this is the only color they have currently but this is a shoe uh, from this year's catalog that is brand new and has been a really hot seller for the brand of Dexter uh, we go into Brunswick here here's a more lightweight breathable kind of athletic shoe that they have uh, very cool looking very stylish and you can see a lot of bowling shoes now are going towards non-traditional styles uh, which is kind of cool. We have one here from Dexter. This is a pair of shoes that I wear and this is a BOA lacing system. So basically what you do is this is the back notch here that you pull out and then you unlace your shoe here. And what's pretty cool about that is hey for those of you who are lazy like myself a little bit and you don't want to lace them shoes, you slip them on, you push the button and then you tighten them and they tighten. That's pretty cool as they're tightening there and you can get them as tight as you want. That's a pretty cool thing. The cool thing about these shoes, lifetime warranty on this BOA construction here. So if you ever have this break, um, it is a lifetime warranty on it. Here's another men's shoe from Hammer called the uh, Boss. This has a, a pretty cool construction. This, These sides here are very, very awesome. Um, very comfortable as well. So for those of you who, have, who toe drag a little bit, uh, these are really reinforced. So it kind of cuts down on, dro on toe drag. And the other cool thing about these shoes is this is interchangeable for both uh, right and left foot. So the same constructions on the bottom for the right and left foot. So you don't have to ever have to order a right or left hand specific shoe uh, on the performance category. So the Boas and these are both higher price performance based shoes and they get up upwards almost to $200 just because you get a little bit more uh, performance out of the shoe. They last longer and they come with different interchangeable uh, soles and heels that are pretty cool. So say you go to a bowling center that uh, has a little bit more tackier and need a little bit more slide, you can just take this slide pad off, or for this, this is a non-slide one, and you can go ahead and change it up. Let me take the heel off here so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. This heel comes off and you can put a different one on there. That's kind of cool and different. Um, that's been around the industry for almost a couple of decades now, uh, interchangeable technology. Uh, when you go into women's shoes, it's kind of just basic. Um, a lot of what I sell are lightweight shoes and then it's based on color. This is Dexter's Raquel shoe here, just a very simple shoe, nice black and pink color. And then the bottom is the same as the Ricky's. Uh, we also have a breathable shoe from Brunswick. 
This is called an aura shoe, and this is kind of like non-athletic look, or athletic looking. So you can kind of see it's non-traditional, same kind of bottom as the other shoes. Uh, this is probably number one selling women's shoe. This is called a Karma. Uh, it's very, uh, a lot of people tell me it looks like a Sperry, a boat shoe. It's really, it's a slip-on shoe, um, but it's very non-traditional. And I think a lot of women like the way these look here. And then also Dexter has their version of a slip-on shoe uh, with no laces here as they have this one as well available. That's a pretty popular seller for me too. So just to go over basically when it comes to shoes, you've got your, your, uh, lower price points here and then from here for guys they kind of get in the higher range with the interchangeable technology so for those of you who are looking for shoes and think oh shoes are probably just boring no they have a lot of different styles and a lot of different colors and i can promise you there's a lot more that i have that i can get that i don't have here in stock but there's over two three hundred pairs of shoes out out uh, made by bowling manufacturers so i will promise you they'll probably have a shoe for you so anytime you're looking for shoes just come on down to double j's bowling supply inside amf college lanes uh, that's another one of our blog topics talking about shoes today. So we'll talk about something else in the future. Thank you guys for everything. Good luck. Good bowling out there. See you next time.